Welcome to the Richard Sherman Podcast. Make sure you like and subscribe to the Volumes YouTube channel to get more content. We coming at you two times a week. Subscribe now. But now you flip it over to Aaron Rodgers, and he seemingly lost a bunch too. Devontae Adams. He's without a wide receiving core. Alan Lazard's out today. And I'll tell you what, man, that game was hard to watch. What do you make of Aaron Rodgers in the situation he is in? Are the Packers done? The way everybody else is going to be working out kickers, Mitchell, they're going to be working out receivers. You might, you might, yeah, you you might, might get a call. I was going to say you might get a call. I mean, I mean, I catch it now. <laughs> I get, if they were put it like that, I didn't catch, caught a couple from him now. He know how I caught, catch it. You got more catches than their entire receiving core did on Aaron Rodgers, man. Uh, right. Hey, he seen that, he, you know, and a, a deep bomb, I get under it, you know. and But uh. there were too many mistakes, you know, and that's something he's not accustomed to. And that's, you know, he's the MVP of the league. He played like A-Rod. You know, it's not his talents dropping off or, man, is something worried about A-Rod. No, he's dropping dimes. He's hitting people where they're supposed to be. He's doing his thing, but you can't drop the ball. You can't have missed assignments. You can't have miscommunications. And that's what you're seeing without Devontae Adams. He doesn't have a safety net to say, hey, everything's going bad. I'm going backside to my one-on-one. I know my guy's going to, and we're going to make something happen. Him and me, pitch and catch all the way down the field. We'll win a game together, just him and me. You don't have that. And so without that, you're depending on rookies and, and second-year guys and guys that you don't have any rapport with, and it looks rough. And I'm sure the Minnesota Vikings and your Detroit Lions – who we're battling Ooh, today, Mitchell, Richard, are Ooh. going to be really excited. Now, here's a stat for you. Here's a very interesting stat. I want to know what the Vegas odds on this were. A.J. Dillon, who I, is not a known receiver at all, was the leading reception leader and the leading yardage leader for the, or for the uh, Green Bay Packers today. A.J. Dillon. I wasn't Quadzilla. expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. But no. I also wasn't expecting Justin Jefferson, who said this offseason, he said, hey, I respect everybody out there. Everybody's doing their thing, man. This is my list. You know, Cooper Cup, Devontae, you know, giving everybody respect. But he says, respectfully, I think after this year, I'll be the guy. Yep. And what he put on tape this week, Mitchell, listen Ooh. to me. <laughs> he might be the guy. He might be that he guy. He might be the guy. And He's... they got that Kevin O'Connell. And this West Coast Kyle Shanahan offense making it look easy. I tell you what, Rich, these Minnesota Vikings and what they did today against Green Bay. I mean, I'm I'm a little biased with Detroit, but this division appears to be wide open. I mean, are the Vikings good? Are they that good? Are the Packers that bad? Is the real question right now. I, I don't know if I'd call them bad. I'd say the Vikings are always solid. You know, always solid. They've always right. had the talent. They've had Z Zendarius Smith was out there manhandling people. So now they got a pass rush. They've, they've always been solid in the secondary with Harrison Smith and the boys. And offensively, Kirk is a, is a good quarterback. I'm not going to call him great. I'm not going to call him an elite, but I, he's a good quarterback. And at times, very good. And within this offense, they keep it simple. That's why Kyle Shanahan was screaming that he wants Kirk Cousins. He wants Kirk Cousins because he's tailor-made for the offense that Kevin O'Connell brought from the Rams. He's tailor-made for it. And it looked like it today. They were just doing their thing. It's the same stuff Aaron Rodgers is running with LaFleur. It's the same stuff. They saw Amir. He, just, he has better players right now. When you had Devontae, you had better players. Right now, Justin Jefferson is a better player. And so it's going to be exciting, man. Detroit was battling. Chicago beat. Chicago won. You know, that division is a lot more competitive than people think. We saw the Browns going up against your buddy, your boy, Baker Mayfield. Oh, Guy's an absolute stud. He's going to give it to his old team. And holy on, cow, now. did he not? Did he Mitchell, not? He, mean, gave, he gave it to him. He gave it to him. Oh, he gave yeah. it to him like he was getting paid by him. He's still getting right. his check from the Cleveland Browns, Mitchell. And it looked like it. It looked like he was playing for the Cleveland Browns. He kept him in that ball game. I respect it. I was reading a report today that him, he sent Miles Garrett a text message after he left saying, hey, it was a pleasure playing with you. And, and Miles Garrett just flat out did not reply. Is he just a, not a, a teammate fan favorite? Is he like one of the draft day movie, that draft day movie where no one went to his birthday party? Is he that guy? I have no idea. I ain't never played with him. I'm not in the locker room with him. But what I'll tell you is 
the quarterback position has about 20 guys that can play the position better than he can play it. And some of them are backups on in this league. <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo <laughs> is a better quarterback than him. And he is not starting in this National Football League at this very moment. And what I'm telling you, Mitchell, is the Cleveland Browns couldn't have got a better gift for Christmas this year to calm their fan base down. Hey, y'all want to see why we did it? We're going to play against the guy we traded away that you guys are saying we shouldn't have traded away. And you see how bad he is? Look at him. Look at the interception. Look at the missed throws. Look at him. He's, he's so hype. He's doing this. He's doing that. And guess what? The Cleveland Browns with Jacoby Brissett at quarterback Nick Chubb their way to a dub, Nick, which is their Nick, gonna... he They Nick Chubb their way for sure. And that's what they're going to be doing all. And that's what they should be doing, Rich. Right. Who wants to tackle freaking Nick Chubb? Not me. I mean, I did it one time. I'm not, I did it one I'm time. I still interested. feel like parts of my body ain't the same. Oh, uh, well, Rich, who knows? Cleveland might be around this thing for a little bit longer than we anticipated. But Jacoby Brissett, perfect game manager. Carolina Panthers. They might be looking for a new quarterback, picking number one overall after this thing is all said and done. Right, right. And getting rid of what two – it wasn't Darnold number one and it wasn't Baker number one, and then they're going to get another – they might want to pick two. <laughs> like yeah. At that point, you might want to pick two or three or a 12 or, or whenever – third round or something. And how about your disappointing players of the week? Disappointing players of the week. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Disappointing players of the week. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray disappointed me this week. Kyler Murray with, with the big offseason contract that had some weird language in it about studying. <laughs> you know, better study. And he looked like he, you could see why they put the language in there. There were a few plays where he had a, a guy into the flats where they ran a double pick play, a man beater on third and short where, hey, they're running it for the back to get open in the flat. It's the design of the play. All you have to do is toss it out there. Now, I'm no quarterback, but they're paying him $45 million, so I assume he's able to do it. Throw it out there to the flat. It's a first down. It happened two or three times in the game, and he missed them every time. So, sure, the Kansas City Chiefs beat them, but there were plays that could have kept drives alive that he just did simple plays, just the layups. Make the layups, and he wasn't making the layups. Cliff Kingsbury was calling good plays, and he wasn't making a layup. That was disappointing. Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey was disappointing this week. It was tough. 158. Perfect passer rating on his side. You know, he's one of the best corners in the National Football League. I think J.C. Jackson, with his ability to get the play man-to-man coverage and take the ball away, is the best corner in the National Football League. But I think he's in the conversation, and he can't play like that. That, that was a disappointing day for him. <sighs> trying, to, trying to keep going. Um, Allen Robinson. I, I'm not disappointed in the player. I'm disappointed in the opportunity. I'm disappointed that he didn't get the opportunity to shine and to show and to continue. I don't know why he just has bad luck. He just has bad luck. He just can't. You know, it can't catch a break. The Packers receiving core, <laughs> disappointing. Disappointing. Y'all got to play better than that. You know, Aaron Rodgers, the, the reigning two-time MVP, deserves better than that. Dropping wide open passes that would have been touchdowns, huge explosive plays would have been touchdowns. You can't have it. They draft the guys to do the job. They aren't doing the job. They got to clean it up or it's going to be a long year for them. Those are my guys. I don't have six for you right now. Mitchell, we got to wait to the game. That's this fine. Week. That's plenty, Rich. <laughs> 